Uh, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, look at this. This is a. Smells so good. Hi! Yeah. 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 Um, I was going to introduce you to Susanna. Um, and Susanna's a team leader on this project, and I've just just followed along with it just because um, just see the values uh, between uh, Kaitiaki values and uh, toilet uh, etiquette, really. Uh, thanks, Susanna. Yeah. just the completion of a natural cycle that um, started somehow with the soil and with the seed and with the food and then we eat it it's in the puku and then uh, we want to keep it pure don't we so we want to take care of the water that is coming down from the sky and that is flowing next to the river so we have the food there and there's the river so what do we do in between and there's the ocean we don't want to flush it out there we don't want to use chemicals so um, there is a whakatoki and I just love it it says he taonga no te whenua, me hokea no ki te whenua. Mm. So what is given by the land should return to the land and that's just a natural native way. And um, we want to make it a, a really, really nice experience to use a composting toilet as you can see. Um, and it's really comfy, I can tell. <laughs> you can just really enjoy that. <laughs> so there's, nothing, there's no smell, there's nothing that is really... Um, scary about it, that's just the way to do. We have a kit they donated um, from the weavers that um, is basically the, the idea to celebrate uh, tikanga Māori and um, everything with, with it. So what happened is that we have actually built already two of them and there were a lot of people involved that are partly here today. So the BHU was helping, thanks to Murph and Bill, Manaya was keeping me spinning and uh, a lot of information pulling through, making co connections with corrections. And we had a guy doing his social hours on that project in town. We had uh, waste material donated, so everything is made out of upcycled material because we don't want to go that stuff or see end up that stuff in landfill, don't we? <laughs> so um, it's portable. It's um, yeah, it's basically um, going back to the land, and it will support reforestation. So if you feel like living a contribution. We would highly appreciate that. So it's <laughs> open officially, um, and especially this model here um, is sort of a Banks Peninsula baby in a way. So it started at Otakaro Orchard in town with the material. It came over to Tedding and it was built by um, Max, which was our Swiss builder. It's following a Swiss uh, model from Compotoy, and they've shared their plans and their five year experience renting out those for events and wherever you feel like you would have a portal or usually you can put those. And um, because I believe we can be smarter, we can be really loving, we can be really connecting with the earth and giving back what we've been given like today with the tower. And um, yeah, it's just um, um, amazing. I feel this is what Mauridum to me is about. It's about the love for the land and the love for the people and just connecting with this natural cycle so I'm happy to be part of it. Thank you Manaya. Yeah. It was actually Susanna that said isn't it funny we've got the world's best pure water it's in our toilets we poo in it then we flush it to sea. I actually think our practices in the past were even the 70s uh, 60s were way better you know that the, the composting toilets the, the, the bottled milk uh, and maybe even long drops you know that at least it was contained. What I like about it is I don't like Portaloos. I love to see this at events. Like I said, I want from my house because just those harsh chemicals in a portaloos, the smell, the plastic. Or if I'm in a upcycled Swiss design, you know, European uh, Faripaku where my contribution is controlled, measured safely, and placed back on the land safely, that brings a net benefit. It just makes sense. Yeah. At the Marais, you also have like um, peaks where people come in for readings and for the uh, tangi and so forth and maybe you have to hire um, chemical portals but you don't want to do that according to your tikanga so what do you do and that's definitely one of the solutions it's not the only one there are different ways as what you said before Mana, it's nothing new to do it this way it's just been we just do it don't we so we've got Rolston prison making them corrections um, that's been a really awesome relationship yeah. and we, we're going to have them at uh, Orton Bradley Park. I like to work a bit closer with Doc. 
And then, um, and if we can, and they're easy to transport, they're lightweight. Yeah, you gotta be careful around the, the, the use of the sealed containment of the excrement and the um, contributions, but when you got that done right, it, it's, um, it's manageable, it's easy. Yeah. And I think in the bottom line, it's like globally, we really have to learn, sorry to say that literally, but we really have to learn to deal locally with our shit and our stuff and just really care about it. I was really thrilled and shocked when I heard that the stuff, the sewage system gets pumped out into the ocean in New Zealand and all that beloved land that I, that I love so much and I felt like, wow. And um, yeah, so on the bottom line, let's just care. Let's care. <laughs> Mm. 